Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and today I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup. So let's get into the video and see what I liked, what I loved, and what I hated. So I have two primers to choose from. I have the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. I think I'm going to go with the Wet n Wild one because I have a lot of e.l.f. products. So I want it to be kind of like a variety. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. If you can hear my cat, I apologize. He's been really bad in the beginning of this video, so he's going to stay in the bathroom till the end of this video. I rock a bowl that I keep my makeup brushes in, that I made in ceramics. Mm -mm, he's just making me so mad. Okay, now I'm going to use the Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair Claire. One thing I don't like about this is that, like, there's not a lot of product on the wand. You have to, like, dip it back in the thing, like, a lot. Then I don't know if I want to use my Cody Airspun Loose Powder or the Maybelline Fit Me. The Cody Airspun's my favorite, but since we're using, like, a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me products, I think I'm going to go with this one. So this is in 05 Fair Claire. I mean, this one's okay. I just really like the Cody Airs, and I've used that one for a long time. Then I got this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil today in taupe. I haven't ever used an eyebrow pencil before. Kind of scared. Elf has a lot of like skincare products that I noticed today. I may just go get a whole bunch and do like a whole video of trying out Elf skincare products because they all look like really good. Elf does a really good job of like making their products look nice, you know. I got this BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette for $14. And I'm just really excited. <laughs> it looks really pretty. Ooh. There's 26 colors. That's pretty. But we'll see if they're good. I like that there's like this vibrant pink in there. I think that I'm going to do like a warm look today. So I'm going to do this eye off camera and then come back and show you all how to do it on this eye. Okay, this was pretty difficult. Like, these, when you like put your brush in them, a lot of like powder comes off. But when you put it on your eyes, it's like not pigmented. So I took this one, put it all over my lid. Then I took this orange and put it all in the crease. Throughout the whole crease. Then I would usually take a blending brush and kind of blend it out. But whenever I did that last time, it almost like made it disappear. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to do that again, repeat the step. With normal eyeshadows, I would not repeat this step because it'd be pigmented. But I'm not too upset about it. I mean, they work, they're just lightly pigmented. But I can't really complain because this was like the price of two MAC eyeshadows. So I wanted to try it out. It didn't hurt. Then I took this color, put it out on the outer crease. But it sure does get under your eye. Okay. Now I'm going to take this color, 
and put that on my lid. Now I'm just going to try and blend everything out. And it kind of makes everything go away. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the dark color to the outside because it kind of disappeared. Uh, but watch this. Do you see all this? Like, all that pigment? But it doesn't show up on your lid. Okay, I'm good with that. I mean, they swatch okay. This is the pink. And then that's that orange that we used. I don't know, they're just kind of light. Especially on the eyes, they're light, light, light. So I probably wouldn't use this on like a day-to-day -day basis because my MAC eyeshadows are like really nice. But it was good to try and I may use it every once in a while. So now I'm going to put eyeliner on. This is the Maybelline Master Precise in black. just doesn't work. It like barely comes out. This is terrible. That's as good as that's getting. I don't like this. In fact, I kind of hate it. It's not good. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my Milani highlighter in strobe light. This, if you like pack it on, it's like pretty bling bling. Lately I haven't been going like really blinding. Just kind of like a light dazzle. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Volume Plumping Mascara in black. I like how this feels. It's like, it feels nicely made. Nothing's on here. Oh, Elf, don't let me down. This is just not... It's not very volume plumping. I don't like this either. This is a no. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in 15 Lover. I really love this. You don't have to touch it all day. It'll stay there and not move. Then I'm going to finish off this look with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set in Clear. That smelled kind of weird. I don't know about that. We'll have to see how it does throughout the day. It got a lot on my hand. Like, okay, this isn't in order. I'm just going to grab stuff. Love. Hate. 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 This is okay. This, I don't feel like my face looks as good as it does with like the e.l.f. primer if I would have used that one. Oh my gosh. I hate my cat. I hate my cat. So this is a hate. This is a hate because, I don't know, the sprayer was weird. And it got like all over my hand and it smelled kind of funny. So, hate. 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 Very passionate hate. Because this was terrible. <laughs> like, nothing would come out. I don't know. Bad. Bad. This was okay. I'd say, like, if you're really new to makeup and you don't want, like, a full glam look and you just want your lashes to have, like, a little bit of black tint to it and, like, not a lot of volume, 
then this would be okay. But this was a volumizing mascara, and it did not do that. So, hate. Love. I love these. I need to go get more shades, but I love them. They stay all day. They don't move. Like, ma, ma. Oh, if y'all are wondering what this is, I have really thick hair, and this is a really big ponytail, so I just realized that I had that on my hand, because I have to hold, have it like that so it won't fall down. This was okay. I've never used a brow pencil before, and I feel like this did its job very well. This was okay. Mm. It's not that, like, full coverage, but it does do its job with staying all day. This is also okay. It does its job, but the Cody Airspun, I just feel like it's better. I feel like it feels not as heavy, and I don't know. I just like it more. But this does its job. There's nothing wrong with it. I think that it's okay. <laughs> so this is it for my full face of drugstore makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!